We're joined by Caddo Parish Coroner, Dr. Todd Toma. And I saw a post you put on Facebook. It looked like you're pretty fired up. I get a little fired up when we start talking about motorcycle helmets there. Lawmakers have proposed a measure that would essentially say it's okay to not wear a helmet while on a motorcycle. Is that where we're going again? Yeah, about 12 years ago, we were able to reinstate the motorcycle helmet law in Louisiana. And there's been a couple of attacks since that time on the helmet law, but we've always been able to get it shut down. This year, somehow, uh, Jim Morris and Clay Schneider put a House bill in, House 337, and got it through committee. It passed in committee, and it's going to the House floor to repeal the helmet law again for people over the age of 21. That's going to result in death. Mister. I was just going to say, not to go overly elementary on you, but it always comes down to the ever-encroaching reach of the state versus personal freedom. Explain to everyone why you are so adamantly in favor of the helmet law. Well, you know, there's so many different reasons, Robert. Um, the bottom line, I've spent 23 years at a level one trauma center. And since I've been there, not a single day has somebody come in and said, I knew today was going to be the day that happened to me. And the bottom line is when you get on the back of a motorcycle, you are 35 times more likely to die. You have to take your chances. Now, people were willing to do that. That's okay. But you have to take your chances by, by protecting yourself the best that you possibly can. Everybody that I have that comes in that's badly injured regrets not having personal protective equipment in, on. And you don't get a second chance. The bad, sad truth of the fact is a lot of these people will die. And when they die, they don't get a chance to have grief or regret. They leave family behind, everything else. I understand the personal freedom part of it, but you don't need to become a burden on society. You don't need to, to, to absolutely tear families apart. The average age of people that die on motorcycles is 37 years of age. Mm. They are the peak of their earning years. They have small children. They have jobs. You know, these people were left without. We have to mandate safety to attempt to help people that won't help themselves. That's what we do with automobile safety, seatbelts, et cetera. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different arguments. I understand the personal freedom, freedom part of it, but that's because everybody thinks it's not going to happen to them. How do we stack up again, uh, as compared to other states? I know the law is pretty liberal in Texas, but what about others? There's about, they're about half and half. Uh, there's about 25 or 30 states that have helmet laws and about 25 states that don't have, somewhere around there. It's about half and half of which have helmet laws and which haven't. And Louisiana has gone back and forth. We had a helmet law. We repealed a helmet law. We had a helmet law. We repealed a helmet law. I thought we settled it 12 years ago when we repealed the helmet law. And honest to God, I, when, we were, when we reinstated the helmet law, when I was at the Level 1 Trauma Center, the only death that I had after that was just a couple of weeks after the, after that, uh, the repeal of the helmet law, the reinstatement of the helmet law. An elderly couple drove up to Arkansas so they could take their helmet off. They took their helmet off on the Arkansas state line. And a mile later, a deer ran out in front of them, and they both died from the motorcycle wreck, unhelmeted. Oh. So they Ar drove to Arkansas to have the right to die. Todd Toma, Caddo Coroner, are you passionate enough about it that you're going to go to Baton Rouge when the bill's debated and testify? I have done that every single year. This time it slipped through committee without it, without me even knowing about it. So I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to get the word out, trying to tell people that, you know, representatives are supposed to represent you, and the people don't want this. There's a handful of people that want this, but the people don't want it. They talk about tourism, bringing in tourism. Sturgis, the Sturgis bike rally last year, 12 fatalities, 140 injury wrecks at that bike rally. Is that really what we aspire to be? Mm. Uh, I, I just think it's a bad mistake for Louisiana. Do you have a lawmaker that is spearheading your, you know, is going to be your voice? Have you talked to one or two that, that agree with you? No, I mean, I just found out about it yesterday, and that's why I started my rant yesterday. Uh, but I'm going to start getting the word out. I started going through social media already, got, trying to get people to uh, to contact their representatives, contact their senators, make sure that this dies. Um, I understand John Bell Edwards is against it. That doesn't necessarily mean that if it passes, he'll veto it. We don't know what he's going to do. But at least he has some sense realizing that this would cost the citizens of, of Louisiana a lot of money. Todd Toma, Caddo Parish Coroner, thanks so much for your time this morning. Call us back next time you hear it's coming up, please. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Robert.